Cat 4. Laura has passed Cuba. We are looking at a possible rapid intensification as the warmer waters in the Gulf interact with the storm. So here is what's going on right now with the J. Josephine tropical storm. But this would be a new development off the west coast of Asperger's and it's starting to get a tower clockwise spin. Anywhere east of where this makes landfall is going to be extremely dangerous, including the wind speeds within the eye wall. So we'll get back on the ground and see what's going on near Beaumont. Watching Fort Ranchers rushing up and down this highway as fast as they can. We're seeing people in absolute desperation pulled over. We're seeing people in gas stations in dire need. We're already seeing rising waters in Dolphin Island. This is Alabama, 250 miles away from the center of Laura, hours and hours before landfall. But places closer to Louisiana, we could be seeing three to eight foot rises of water up to 10 feet. Back to you, Kyle. Definitely the weather just changed again, Amy. Huge pressure change. Come up on the fourth floor of the parking structure across from the Chase Bank. All right, guys, we're in intercept mode. We're gonna go tackle this bad boy right now. So we're leaving the fortress. The fortress is still leavable. The roads are still drivable. And uh, we're just opportunistic, so we're going. Dude, there's another power flash. I, there might be a tornado on the ground over here. Just just to the right, is, what, what do you got for radar? All of the red zones here are where we have tornadoes indicated by radar. So we're getting real-time reports of where those touchdowns are. Yeah, we went to go chase the tornado on the ground but my partner over here decided to make the smart, safe call, and I do not question it. Oh, that building's coming off. Oh, we're in danger. Watch out, get out, get out, get out! Get out, get out, get out, get out! Oh, that was a big one. That was a smash. Hurricane Laura has made landfall as a Category 4 storm in Cameron, Louisiana at 1 a.m. local time. This is now approaching the storm chasers in Lake Charles, Louisiana, where we're going to check back in because they're getting readings of 150 miles per hour with these eyewall winds. Suction, you can't even open the door. Lost connection there, but not too big of a surprise. I do have them in my ear still. I can hear that they're safe. We're going to pick up some other camera feeds. Still a cat four. Tomorrow's search for recovery, so we're going to start out first thing at daylight and start see what we can do to help. I've never seen devastation in person in my life like this. This, this city is going to take years to recover. Power line and the snap sign here. Look at the, the columns are collapsed. The paddle boat went into the bridge. A lot of damage. Pretty gnarly. Ripped off, and he rode it the whole night. 
like this. All the scars are still surrounding us here. Very few places have rebuilt. Some have decided to tear down. A lot of the corporate buildings are back together and intact. Some buildings that were next to demolished streets are all standing fine. Man. How long are you guys planning on being on site? Uh, we're here probably one week. Completely finished. Maybe uh, six or seven months. I'm trying to get people to build dome homes. Oh, yeah? Tell everybody this house is shaped like domes. Oh, the dome. Stay. Yeah. Know, you know where's a lot of dome homes? It's in Italy. Okay, well. Italy, Texas. Italy and Texas? Yeah, there's a dome home. Really? It's a community over there. Okay. Yeah, it's a dome. Even the steady over there, where the uh, high school, it's a dome. Maybe it's like, get to the red roof where 